Hi everybody. Um, I know it feels like we just started, but we're already halfway through the course and your midterm is due this week. So I just wanted to um, show you, I, I've posted up some review materials. You can see over here I've created a new tab called Review Materials. And if you go here, you've got a number of things. Um, the midterm study guide is topics that you can focus on. And again, you can download any of these. There's a review worksheet you can see here and a practice exam. And for both of these, I strongly recommend that you work through the review worksheet, which are some problems, or the practice exam. Work at first without looking at the answers, and then you can see I have the answers posted here. Use those to check yourself. You'll get a lot more out of it if you, um, if you do that first, if you try to work through the problems before you see the answer, and then just use that to check yourself. Um, so I really recommend that. This uh, last one here is a Jeopardy game. It's a PowerPoint, but it's a Jeopardy game that I use in class to review, so you can use that. And also here I have the PowerPoints that I use in my in-person class posted here. There's I've scribbled all over them, and so some of that might not make sense to you if you weren't in the class, but uh, it is a pared down version. My PowerPoints are, are shorter than than the ones that the publisher puts out there. So you might find that um, useful just to kind of narrow down the material a little bit. Um, also, uh, the, the exam, if you look on your syllabus, you'll remember that the exam is open book and open notes. Um, you can take in whatever you want. You can use the e-text in here as your book. I recommend that you open up anything that you want to use, like the e-text or if it's a PowerPoint or something, open all those up before you um, start the exam. Remember you have to go to the testing center. So open those things up and then when you're ready the testing center will put in the password and and open the exam for you. Uh, um, you cannot use outside websites but you can use any resources that are that are posted in here. I meant my lab will not allow you to have a quiz open. Um, you couldn't have like quiz one and two open while you have the exam open. It won't let it won't let you do that. Um, the other thing I wanted to um, oh I am a big proponent of cheat sheets. So it's open book and open note. You can take in what you want, but if you if you don't know what you're doing, it's not really going to help you, and you're going to run out of time. So if you've been zipping through the homework and you're getting good grades on the homework, but mostly because you're taking two turns and you're guessing and you don't know why B is the correct answer, or you don't know how to calculate comparative advantage or something, um, it's not going to help you on the exam. And so the exam is worth much, much more of your overall grade than the homework is. So the homework is designed to prepare you for the exam. If that's not how you've been using the homework, if you've just been zipping through the homework as quickly as you can, uh, I would say you better uh, maybe stop and take some time to really prepare for this exam. I think a great way to prepare for the exam is to make yourself like a one-page cheat sheet for each chapter. Um, for one thing, it makes you uh, focus and sometimes just the act of writing things down really helps people remember it. It helps you pull out the important things. It will also save you a lot of time during the exam. If you I mean, you have your book, but if you're flipping through page, where did I see that? Where did I see that? You're going to eat up a lot of time. So um, most of the time, uh, the the act of making the cheat sheets, that's all people need. And you still have your book there, your other notes, if you want to look something up. But um, I really, really strongly recommend that as a good way to prepare. That is, um, in all the years I've been teaching, I think that is what I see as the, um, the biggest uh, helper, the thing that leads to the highest exam grades. I also wanted to show you, um, you're an online learner, so I know you're self-directed and self-disciplined, and I'm sure you've taken a look, but I wanted to make sure um, that you notice some of the features in the e-text that can also help you, um, and I think are very good resources, especially for you as online students. So um, if I pull this up, they have this um, kind of for every chapter. I'm going to go uh, to, let's see. Um, Let's look at chapter three. I think that will, I'm trying to open you up. There you go, chapter three. And uh, let's, let's just go to, um, I'm trying to get the table of contents to open up for me here. 
let's see here. There we go. So let's go to um, putting supply and demand together. And so you've got a couple things here that I wanted to make sure you are. First of all, when you see graphs like this, you know, you when you're reading the book like this, you see the finished product. In class, I would probably be drawing that and so you kind of see it develop. But um, the the Pearson text here has these MyLab animations to kind of replicate that. And so we will illustrate the difference this guy's talking you through it and you can see how they start with one line and then again, they'll add the second supply curve and he, economics. he's explaining what he's doing. So if you haven't been using those, I think these are very, very helpful rather than just seeing the finished product and not really knowing where they started and how they got there. So they kind of show you how these developed. And they have these for most of the graphs in here and I think these are really extremely useful, especially for an online student. So whenever you see that MyLab animation, um, it's got that, and it's got that really for a lot of the graphs. Also, when you finish a chapter or an, a spot, a, an area in here, you have this concept check, and it puts po posts you up here to the study plan. And so, we were just reading about—I um, don't remember here what we were reading about—change um, in supply versus change in quantity supplied, which is a very important one. So you check that, and it'll give you a question just to make sure you understand the difference between the two. This is in the study plan. Um, you, everybody's got the study plan here. If you've used another MyLab, I think they all have the study plans. And so uh, I, I always hit all chapters. And then let's say you're working in chapter three and you're like, I'm fine with demand, I'm fine with supply. It's when I put them together that I have trouble. And so I go here and it gives me all the problems in the book related to that. You can do as many or as few of these as you want. You can do them as many times as you want. It doesn't affect your grade. That's there for you to practice. So if you were zipping through the homework and uh, you're not sure if you got lucky, if you really understood it, you can go here and do do another one of those. And so the, um, the, the MyLab animation and the concept checks I think are are very, very useful tools for you. You can see another one here. Um, here's a MyLab animation, and so it'll show you how they got to equilibrium. So they're just tiny little videos all through um, all through the chapter here whenever they have some of these graphs, and I think those are very... Um, when you get to the solve problems, they have an interactive animation that'll work you through... Um, it'll work you through the problem. This one, you're, you're drawing a graph. So I think those are extremely useful as you're going through here. Again, um, it does take more of your time. It's definitely worth it. Um, the other thing uh, in my lab, uh, the chapter resources, they're probably in the multimedia too. If you are a visual learner, let's say I'm going to go to chapter three. And so um, uh, there's the PowerPoint presentation. I said that's actually... Um, uh, the publisher one, the ones I just posted for you are a little bit um, shorter. But if you go here to, so this will have all the um, animations that we just showed you there. But if you go to videos, it says making the connection videos. But if we scroll down here, it's definitely more, it has one for each of those making the connections and those are great. But I also think these reviews, they have a review for each section and I think those are, so here's section one, two, three. If you are a visual learner more than just a reader, I think those are a really great tool. So there's a ton of tools here for you. Um, it's up to you to use them, right? Uh, the more time you put in, the better results you can expect. If you're putting the minimum in, then you can expect uh, a mediocre grade or less. That's how it works for most of us. So you'll get out of this what you put into it. but. Lots of review material here posted for you. You can look back over your homework assignments. You can look back over your quizzes. Make sure you understand. If you got it wrong, make sure you understand why you got it wrong. Uh, lots of resources here. And of course, you can always ask me. But um, there should be plenty of stuff here to help you prepare for the exam. Remember, that's at the testing center this week. And you can um, uh, take that anytime that the testing center is open and let me know if you have any questions.